All right, guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day. I mean, over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise. Finger Lakes of New York, where it is Thursday. It is November 3rd, and it is 70 degrees. And on this gorgeous day, I'm going to send this... Uh, I'm going to send this one out to my dear sweet sister who, you know, last time I cut my leg with a chainsaw, she sent me these chainsaw safety chaps over a year ago, which I'm uh, embarrassed to admit I have never taken out of the package. I've had these for over a year, so... Uh, here you go, Mary. I, what saved me today was the fact, probably, that this, this outside pocket on these camo pants, I had an extra layer. So, uh, there you go. You never know when your number's up, guys. You should probably get a stitch in here. Yep. So I have chainsawed since my sister got me these at least a hundred hours, maybe probably 200 hours of chainsawing. And then you're just going along. Just going along. You never know when your number is up. Never fucking know when your number is up. If this had been one sixteenth of an inch, one sixteenth of an inch deeper, I would minimally be on the way to the, the emergency room right now, and I could be fucked up for the rest of my life. What do you think, little dog? These fucking chainsaws. I'm sure Sat 12. I'm sure. I'm sure Sat 12 is thoroughly enjoying uh, this video. Sorry, Sat 12. Uh, <laughs> so I've sliced my leg open with a chainsaw twice, dropped a tree on my head with a chainsaw, and uh, I am still alive. For some reason, don't get it. Get out there and put on your chainsaw safety chaps while you still can. I have to go find a fucking band-aid. Patch myself up. Look at this damn garage. This is really the main reason I, uh, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to Florida. Imagine me dragging all of this shit out of this garage Packing up that truck and that camper. Good lord. Alright. Find some damn band-aids in the middle of this mess.